in Galilee, to a woman pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The woman's name was Mary. The angel went up to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words, but the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you will give birth to a son, and you, and you, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of Most High. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world and everyone to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was to marry him, and, and was expecting a child. The time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room available for them. He had wives and lads born all the time of Bethlehem.
the shepherds leave them out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord had appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, "Do." But the angel says to them, "Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This is his side to you. You will find you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger." Therefore, will not perform while shepherds watch their flocks.
lagi bersama saya After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw this star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was still in all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief, chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has wrote, written. Year three will now perform Hark the Herald. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Go and search. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. Then they all bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Proclaim Jesus the light of the 
to a bummer and friends who we can be with. Remember when all the shops are busy and people are frantically getting prepared for their Christmas, take time to sit down and relax and share your doing well. by listening to one another even when we don't agree help us to spend peace by sharing our time with those who are lonely and who need a friend help us to spread peace by thinking and praying for children who have no food or who are frightened and live in fear let us pray every day for peace for our families for our friends and for ourselves amen We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some big pudding, now bring us some big pudding, now bring us some big pudding, now bring it out here. Good tidings we bring to you and your kids, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we won't go until we've got some, and we won't go until we've got some, and we won't go until we've got some. 